Hello everybody, this is episode 54, day 59 of our Grand Island Adventure. Ewan's had a busy day today, getting rid of the old appliances that were dumped in the garden and sowing his wild um, grass seeds on our newly cleared land. He also dismantles the old wardrobes between the two upper bedrooms. Morning everyone, it's week nine, day four, Thursday. I've done a lot of tidying up today. Um, I took Pat's trailer from out the back, connected to, to my car and then I put in the, uh, the cooker and the dishwasher and the washing machine and um, once I got those three in I couldn't fit anything else in so I went down to Balladreen to the local Barner Waste site and uh, drop them off there. The only thing I've got to drop off now is the fridge freezer. Uh, I've taken it apart a bit. I've taken both doors off and uh, I've taken the motor out of it because I want to make I want to make a compressor using the um, gas cylinder that was left in the house. Uh, so that's that done. This afternoon it's still dry. I mean, it, it was it was really raining earlier. You know that fine rain that wets you through, as Peter K would say. So uh, it seems all right now. It may rain again. I don't know. Uh, it was lovely and sunny earlier. I uh, I was pottering around the garden, tidying up, and uh, I was really enjoying the sunshine. Didn't have this jacket on then. I just had my sleeveless t-shirt on. Uh, but let's have a look at around here. Look, it's uh, it's looking nice. The clouds are grey. It could rain, or you know, a few minutes later it could be sunny. Who knows? If you want to change your weather here in Ireland, just wait for like 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you what I've got for this afternoon's work. I'm not doing any work in the house just yet because uh, it's really windy now isn't it? Where can I go? There's no wind. I see, in the, I see in the back of the car. Um, I'm not doing inside the room. I'm putting the joist up or knocking out to put the joist up because uh, it's not raining enough. I'll do that when it's really rainy. I've just been to my favourite hire shop in uh, Charlestown and I've just hired this. I hope you can see it. I can't see it because my screen's on really dull. Uh, that's a seed dispenser and this is the lawn seed that I bought. 20 kilos of quick establishment hard wearing lawn mixture. So I'm going to start decanting that into here and then experiment with uh, seeding all this area down here. I'm hoping I've got enough with 20 kilos. So we'll have to see. There's a lot of uh, leaves that have fallen down. Sorry about me lifting the camera up, I can hardly see my screen. Uh, there's a lot of leaves falling down because it's uh, getting to end of year, September. So I I don't doubt that this will uh, be full of leaves soon. Get rid of some of this rubbish. That's a bit too far dug in. Oh well. I guess I can get rid of that another day. Okay, so there's a few bits of twigs and whatnot, but I'm not too bothered. Uh, so I'm going to seed this area. I mean, it looks like there may be some coming up, but. If I get as much seed down as, as possible, that's a bit too far dug in. At least I can get the lawn started. So uh, anyway, I'm going to do that, and then uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Uh, let's just have a quick sweep around before I shut the camera off. And there we go. Catch you later. Okay, so here I am out in the field. I've got a little bit of seed left so I'm just going to continue 
spreading my seed far and wide with this little machine. I can get over some of the obstacles. Just about empty now. I'm wondering if maybe I should be making engine noises like it's powered by a petrol engine or something. It basically it's a tub with some holes in the back, in the bottom and it's got a gauge here for sprinkling a little bit or sprinkling a lot I found that having it closed and then putting the seed in and then opening it fully and then just settling down there up and down there several times that was uh, sufficient to get all my Seed spread them out nicely. So there's 20 kilos of seed. Apparently it's supposed to be fast growing. It's probably going to rain later on, so that'll uh, bed it down nicely. Certainly got good coverage anyway. I'm glad I bought such a large bag. I envisage myself with a like a little satchel on my hip and just Spreading it out like that, four or five hours work going like that, but hey ho, that machine's lovely. It's, uh, it's really spread it out nicely. And uh, I'm happy with that. It's been a good uh, 10 minutes work. <laughs> so, well, let's just, uh, let's just leave that now and see what it does. I'm going to just... Uh, Wander over to the rock a minute. I don't think me walking on it's going to disturb it that much. So I'm just going to walk over to the rock, have a sit down, and uh, from here you can see a, a finch, no, a wagtail up there. Wagtail just on the end of that branch. Is it a wagtail? Probably. The river. Is just down there in that gully and just along there like that I got the swallows out yeah the swallows are out now flying around don't know if you can see them but they're very fast excellent let's just flown straight into the shed straight back out again Marvellous. What a beautiful day, what beautiful scenery we've got here. This is the house from uh, from this side now. It's looking great. It'd be nice when that's not there. It'd be nice when I'm living in there. I put a barrier up there to stop people uh, coming in because you get travelling salesmen around that think they can uh, just do what they want so yeah I'm just going to sit here now for a few minutes and uh, enjoy what I've done today and enjoy the house that we bought and think about some of the jobs that I've still got to do there's so much still to do but it's all it's all for a a good purpose and uh, I can't wait for Phoebe to come over and start living here as well I do miss her and it will be nice that we're both back together again right that's it for today I think I may do something a little bit later on if I uh, can find something to do so thanks for joining us on this journey and don't forget to leave a like and a comment and we'll see you later Right, this is video 3 today for Thursday and uh, I was a bit bored so I came up into the bedroom that's got the decent floor and uh, spread my chairs out like uh, I'm going to have some kind of party or a meeting or whatever uh, see the living room and the other bedroom from here what I decided to do was to chip away at the top of the joist holes there so I can just slot the new joist in but then 
uh, I had a problem with the very first joist down that end of the house in that I couldn't get to it because there were wardrobes in the way. So I came up into here and uh, I took it out. I took the whole wardrobe out because it was just so badly designed and badly executed. So uh, if I step back over here, uh, I don't know if you can get a feel for how big the wardrobe is. I can here looking at it from uh, through two eyes, but one camera lens it, look, it just doesn't look the same. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the wardrobe out. I've now got to go downstairs and shift all that crap. <coughs> I'm sure there'll be plenty of stuff there that Pat can burn in his fire. All these bits of crap wood. Um, what this will mean, of course, is it'll make it easier for me to build up this wall to a um, um, better height for me to work with. Both walls need building up. Um, whoever built the wardrobe uh, just hid away all the rubbish stonework. So I'm going to make sure that that stonework's done properly. Um, I don't know if you ever noticed, but up the centre of the front of the house on the outside there's a big split that goes all the way up from the uh, from the lobby up to the um guttering and uh, it's the same here same on the inside so i think once i've uh, got that concreted up properly and then done the outside then we should have no more problems with that but what i have noticed is there was a window there and there was a window there so when uh, Noel, who's Jerry's brother, when he was talking to me about him remembering that he seemed to remember the windows being closer together, I'm pretty sure it must have had four windows at the front. Because there's one window there and there's another window. You can tell that was a window because there's still part of the window frame in there. So, uh, and there you can still see a little bit in the corner just there. So I wonder how far it goes along there. There were taller windows, and I'm guessing by what he said, they were narrower as well. So, that's interesting. So anyway, um, there's still a lot to do in here. There's a lot of prep work to do, so I'm definitely going to have to get a mixer working at some point real soon, because I want to get as much of this done as possible. Um, it's not going to restrict me putting the floor down in there. In fact, it'll probably make it easier if I do get the floor down, because I'll at least here if i get on my hands and knees i can i can work in this area getting all this repaired all i need to do is put a board up and then get some cement put in and some blocks in and that i mean they've all they've done here in the whole house is just put rocks in and cemented the rocks in place so i have to try something a bit better than that so uh that's where I'm up to at the moment. I'm now going to go back downstairs and into that room, pick the ladder up, which I've just knocked over. And I'm going to start chipping away at these uh, top joist bits because I want to get these joists in very soon, probably Friday, Saturday. That's tomorrow and Saturday. So if I can do that, that would be great. Plenty of uh, plenty of hard work for me to be getting on with there. And uh, I'm sure it will be a lot better. The wardrobe was just like a, a layer of chipboard there on a couple of buttons and then a chipboard separator and then hardboard up this side. So I might imagine if you've got somebody in that room being a bit frisky and somebody in this room being a bit frisky, then you'd hear each other, you know, if it were like a family in there and a family in here. See, what we're going to be doing in the summer, next summer, is hiring out these rooms as holiday rooms. And if we're, if we're in the bedroom downstairs, then everybody's going to be hearing everybody. So what I'm going to try and do with that wardrobe now is make it so that I've got as much sound deadening material between the two rooms as possible. I mean, in this one, 
you know, in the landing here, obviously you've got airspace and a pair of big doors, but I don't know, I, I don't know how soundproof that is. I, for me, when I go to bed, I take my hearing aids out and I'm completely deaf, so I hear nothing, but uh, it's a bit concerning that there's just like a piece of chipboard separating the two bedrooms. So anyway, that's what I've done now, and uh, I'll get this piece taken out when it's safe to do so. I want to start chipping away with them at the moment. I'll probably leave that until I've got the floor down, and then it'll, I'll be at a more safe distance from the floor. I've got this thing where I'm six foot four, but I'm frightened of eating the floor. <laughs> so me being up here, although I'm tall, I don't want to be going down there at uh, an alarming rate. So that's it for this video. I'm just going to chip away at that those holes now like I said and uh, I don't think I'll have time for anything else today so thanks for watching thank you for coming along with us that's Ewan and Phoebe Wilby on our island renovation journey if you want to be notified of updates and new videos as they are uploaded please remember to click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell also we love company so feel free to share our youtube channel with your friends the more the merrier and please leave us a comment if you wish we'd love to hear from you see you next time our love to you all